The cold temperatures are keeping many folks inside, leading to a quiet day at the oceanfront today. And Mark Davis joins us now live. And Mark, apparently you caught up with some folks who are not bothered at all by this cold weather. Can barely see you. Yeah, that's right, Barbara. Uh, no doubt at all. And before we get to that, yeah, the flakes are a little bit bigger right now than the last time we checked in with you at 430. The wind's still pretty crazy whipping along down here. You can see it at times here in the boardwalk area just kind of gliding the sheet of snow across it. So, yeah, definitely cold, definitely chilly, and definitely windy down here. And as you mentioned, that did lead to a very quiet ocean front today in terms of foot traffic. Those who we did catch up with, transplants from different parts of the country for the most part, used to the cold weather and they said they're not going to let any of this get in the way of their routines. Neptune does not have much company today on the ocean front, but as waves crash and winds whip, a few have still ventured out to get in their steps. You need to get fresh air. So and it's good. It was noon. <laughs> I do it every day at noon and you know it's just invigorating getting out here and watching the ocean and just you know it's a beautiful place to live. God put it here for me to enjoy, so I'm going to enjoy it. I always will. No matter what the weather, huh? Ian and Emily Eckelberg among the few out and about. Being from Wisconsin, they're conditioned for this sort of thing. It's not, it's not that bad out for us. <laughs> Compared to Wisconsin, it's nice. We're going to take a picture here, and then we're going to go to one of the other parks and take her for a two-hour walk. Being on the doorstep of the sea, not all that comfortable in these elements, but those we caught up with say it could always be worse. You know, hurricane maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, downpours, I kind of tend to get lazy. And as the ocean front gets ready to turn from sand to snow, everybody agrees it's better for the city to gear up and be ready. Well, you have to prepare for it, though. Because, I mean, the roads can be treacherous and... It takes very little to have ice, so you do have to do what you have to do. I think it's better to be prepared, but it's going to be okay. The fact of the matter is, Virginia Beach can prep all they want, but if we get snow, the place is going to shut down for a few days. Period. End of story. That's all there is to it. It's the way it's always been. It's the way it's always going to be. You know, and some people have shut down already. Again, as we said, and we just told you, very little foot traffic here. Very little automobile traffic on Atlantic Avenue behind us. We've been stationed here pretty much all afternoon and have not seen many cars drive by at all. So those people we did speak with, looking forward to the snow here so they can come back down here and see the beachfront when it's all covered in white. We are live at the oceanfront in Virginia Beach. I'm Mark Davis for News 3. Mark, thank you so much. And that's a wrap for News 3 at 5. News 3 at 6 starts right now. Hey, good evening. Welcome to News 3 at 6. I'm Barbara Sierra. Thanks for the company. We are joining you to bring you all things Winter Storm 2022. And we have News 3 team coverage tracking the storm. Our live crews are stationed all over from the Upper Peninsula down to the Eastern Shore all the way to northeastern North Carolina. And our entire News 3 team, both on air and behind the scenes, is working hard to help you stay informed about the winter weather. We'll be bringing you live special coverage during and after the storm to keep you up to date. So as they say, don't touch that dial. Plus, our storm team updating the forecast minute by minute. So we want to get right to it because the biggest snow in years is spreading into the region as we speak, and some of us could see half a foot of snow or more. Whoa, those are big totals. Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky joining us with the hour-by-hour -hour snow forecast. Patrick? Hi, Kurt. The snow is falling and already starting to accumulate on the roads, which is a problem. You can see outside our downtown Norfolk studios, we've got the snow on the roads here. Uh, this is Brambleton Avenue, Bush Street, and it's starting to get very icy out on the roads. This this is the big picture with first warning radar where you see the brighter white colors is where we have the heaviest of the snow falling as we dive in here a little bit closer that's mainly across uh, right along the state line so southern virginia beach and chesapeake portions of curry tuck and camden counties into gates counties as well and that's kind of the bullseye of where we are expecting some of the heaviest of the snow you can see from sandbridge down toward blackwater and then over towards st brides and great bridge in chesapeake we've got some of that heavy snow falling right now uh, lesser totals the farther north we go but even you will be seeing some snow and it 
will be accumulating as we head through the next few hours. So in our hour by hour forecast, 9 p.m., most of us have snow. Notice the temperatures in the 20s. That snow is going to fall. It is going to stick. It is not going to melt, and that means it's going to accumulate even on the roads. Temperatures in the 20s by around midnight. All of us have snow falling and accumulating. Similar story as we get toward 3 a.m. But as we head toward daybreak, the snow pulls out pretty quickly, and you can see temperatures in the 20s, and so everything is going to stick around for a while. So that brings us to what we're working on for the full forecast. We're going to have the updated snow forecast to let you know what to expect where you live. Also, more importantly for some of you, the updated melt forecast. So we'll let you know how long the snow is going to stick around, plus when we're going to climb above freezing once again. It's all coming up in your seven-day forecast. Patrick, we will see you in a few minutes. If you haven't already, go ahead and make sure that you have the News 3 app on your phone. You can get breaking alerts and up-to-the-minute details from the first warning storm team. It is free at WTKR.com slash apps. Right now, snow is beginning to pile up in Elizabeth City. All right, so we have a look at the conditions right now in North Carolina where they are seeing some snow. And guess what? Zach Dahlheimer is joining us live from that location, kicking off our team coverage at 6. What do you see, Zach? Hey, good evening, guys. Well, as Patrick said, Elizabeth City and area expected to get a big chunk of the snow. Well, we're certainly seeing it here. I'll give you a live look from our news fan. What we're seeing right now on Highway 17, this is just outside of downtown Elizabeth City. We are driving very slow. As you can see, the snow is building up on this main road as well as surrounding areas. It's been coming down pretty steady now since about 3.30 this afternoon. And so snow has definitely been coming down here for quite a while. And definitely we haven't seen a lot of issues on the roads. We've seen a few drivers you could see over in the distance on the left. No issues so far with any drivers uh, so far. But definitely you got to be careful if you are on the road. But now let's go to Brendan Ponton up in Virginia Beach for a look at conditions up there. Brendan. Zach, it sounds pretty similar to what you're seeing. We're seeing just straight up snow at this point, and it's coming at a pretty good clip here. And we are seeing some accumulations. This is the sidewalk here where seeing it's starting to build here, the snow building here on the sidewalk, and it's also accumulating, like Patrick was talking about, on the roadways here where we are in Virginia Beach in Red Mill. This is Nimmo Parkway, a very busy road here in Virginia Beach and the snow is definitely accumulating especially in between lanes and things like that. I was trying to see if we could get some cars to drive by. There we go. So far cars have been able to get through but definitely is going to get more and more slick as we go throughout the evening. We'll keep you updated throughout the night. We're live in Virginia Beach. Brendan Ponton, News 3. As you can probably see, the snowflakes are really coming down. Hit me in the face with the wind. Now take a look down at the ground. It is starting to accumulate here. It is not really quite snowball stuff just yet. Maybe the moisture is not just right at the moment, but it is starting to, to accumulate on the ground. So really need to be careful. I did just talk with a tow truck general manager for a towing company, said he's already worked several accidents. So please do be careful out there. It is really starting to accumulate. As you can see, I'm sure there's some pretty excited kids out there. And, um, but right now we need to just be careful. And uh, I'm gonna go find some hot chocolate. Back to you. <laughs> and Angela, it's not just the kids. There are a couple of grownups that are kind of excited too eager to get outside. All right, right now, all of Virginia under a state of emergency, though, is declared by Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin. So what exactly does that mean? Simply, it allows the Commonwealth to mobilize resources and deploy people and equipment for recovery efforts. The Virginia Department of Emergency Management, State Police, and VDOT have already mobilized and have been preparing for these storms. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper also declaring a state of emergency in his state. And Kurt, in Norfolk, the city manager has declared a state of emergency. And it's in Norfolk where we find News 3 reporter Leandra Head joining us now. Pick up the story from here, Leandra. All right, we are having a technical issue with her, but we're going to get back to Leandra because it looks like she's got some legitimate snowfall. Kurt? It was looking pretty nice out there. So we want to hear from you and how the snow is looking where you are. So send us your pictures. Make sure you hold the camera horizontally. I know for the youngsters out there, it's all about Instagram or TikTok, but if you can make it horizontal, it gives just a better view and email it to pics 
at WTKR.com. Along the Hague in uh, Norfolk, and boy, does that look beautiful. It's already a beautiful neighborhood, but now we have a light blanket of snow, and you can see on first warning radar there is more snow where that came from. I'll let you know how much to expect where you live and when it's going to be moving out coming up. Sponsored by Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute. Live your life. Let us fight your cancer. With surging food prices, every grocery trip can give you sticker shock. You can bypass on this and save a bundle. News 3 is helping you crunch the numbers with three ways to cut your grocery bill without skipping on the foods you love. Monday morning. Hard work is hard.